pas spam. Yeah. Red lights on, motherfucker. Mm. For a 750th week running on a Monday, we are here in these fucking chairs. Oh, how many Mondays is he done? I don't know. I need to count. I want to find out how many comments below we've done. Oh, yeah. I we mean. have like a number here. Just every week we change it. As <laughs> always, we take your comments mm-hmm. from last week. Mm-hmm. Talk about this week's football from mm-hmm. those comments. Mm-hmm. I'm poet. You are booge. We have some comments before we go into the football. Matt Freeman says. Copper Nighty are worth the views just to scope the steez of Mandem, Poet and Vooge. I rate that. So Why, thank you so much. Just shout out the Wallabies today. Orange ting. Okay, come on. Jeez. And we also have Vintage Sharp says, Poet, I can sort you out with a Halifax hat. No way. Slide into his DMs at him on Twitter. Bam, slide into my phone book. Slide cause that into is... an I'ma slide up into your DM. I'm right. right. All right, hit me up. Right. Hit me up on Twitter, yeah? No, hit me up on Twitter. All right, and my email is poetscorneruk yep. at gmail.com. Um, let's make an arrangement. I will pay for it. I want the Halifax hat. That is bad boy. Hard. You know if that you haven't got any other throwaway goods from like Subway, from a McDonald's, oh my God. Burger King, Sharp, Five Guys. Sharp, if, five Guys hat. If I get a Five Guys hat, <laughs> let's get into the football. Bunky Tiger, Chelsea have finished, they said. Alonso will never save them, they never said. But boom, man like Alonso, 2-1 against Tottenham. Well, first team to play 38 away games. Fuck Wembley Stadium. I told you, you only play at Wem Wem at April. No, you only should play at Wem Wem, April and May. Semi-finals, FA Cup, final FA Cup. I did say at the beginning of the season, before I even started, they're going to struggle and they're going to fall out of top four. People are like, oh, but you shouldn't make predictions so early. But why not? Like, what are we talking about? What are we meant to make in the finish of this football show? <laughs> that ground, once you go down, it's quiet. No, it's, it's, you know what makes it bad? Remember Champions League as well when you went to see them? Oh, they were awful. It was awful. When and we... the kid of it is, Tottenham played well. Right. Tottenham had... Ch- right. Chelsea had two shots on target. Yeah, I know. Two shots but on Tot- target. Tottenham didn't like they were going to penetrate. Oh, Deli Ali's turn. We spun it round, man. Mm. Tottenham played well, got plenty of free kicks. Got the goal I think that they bloody well deserved from Bashway, a man that clearly needs to stay off social media and focus on important games, mm. not banging in pre-season. And then Alonso gets the winner at the end, but I think it's what Vuj said, man. Like, that's not your home. This doesn't feel like your home. It's just like you can't go to another studio, sit down and be like, this is my home. It's not your home. But it's like us going to the Republic. Or going like, be like hey, this is comments below. I'll be like, well, no, it's this not. This doesn't feel right. Tottenham at Wembley is awful. It doesn't make sense. It's just, I don't think it's fun. I don't think it's fun. I'm looking at it, I'm like, it looks good, but I'm like... It doesn't though, because you know what it does? It takes away the gloss of actually going to Wembley. Like, I like cake. I like Greg's veggie pasties, but I can't have them every day. They'll beat Burnley on the weekend. But... They'll beat Burnley and then man there. But Alonso, obviously, boom, great two goals. His beautiful hair as well, looks like Hercules. Amazing. I like him. The thing, and the, the scary thing about Chelsea is they got players to come back. Counter attack, they were good. But the question is, Copper fam, were Spurs unlucky? Or is it a sign of things to come? <laughs> 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 All right, as we uh, venture on to Swansea 0, Manchester United 4, <sighs> Bailey Lukaku, Pogba, and Martial Melon in 92 says. We like four Swansea 0. The second week where Holes' man have ripped the face of another opponent. Me like Arsenal lose a stoke while playing a Fisher Price back line. I wonder who you're guessing, United. Raheem Z7, thought on United's back to back 4 0 victory. Yeah, Man United are looking crazy, fam. Mm. But I'll tell you what, in the final third, yeah, they sure. are rootless. People were kind of saying like, you know, it's only Swansea and West Ham. Bro. Well, Arsenal have just lost Stoke. It's only Stoke. And Watford-Liverpool was only a draw. The thing is, so, so it's true from what they're saying. But you've got to beat what's in front of you. That's the only thing, though. You can only beat what's in front of exactly. you. Exactly. So and like they won 4 nil and 4 nil Twice. Twice. Do you know what I mean? So I think United are looking great. And all the they're people that keep at me talking about, are oh, you and Vuj are slated Man United this last season, you can't say they're good now. If you perform badly, we're going to say you perform badly. Especially if you're United. And if you play well, we're probably going to say you play well. And look, lads, you're playing fucking well. I think they just look, to me, they look efficient. Efficient, that's it. Look, they're I not amazing. Yeah, they're, they're not like, wow, it's exciting, but they're just efficient. They move the ball, slowly get up the pitch, yeah. and boom, it's a goal. United fans. And Zlatan's coming back as well. Zlatan's coming back. Is this United coming back to reclaim their throne? Are they favourites now? Would you reckon? Like, look, I know it's two games in, but it's a football show. 
Are United favourites? United fans, tell us what you think. Are you lot back as we venture on to this game, which I'm very happy to, to hear what Poet has to say about Stoke 1 and Arsenal. Little Sam K, one to see man fight. Second game when we have Arsenal already given up the fight. This shit hurt. Uh, Tobani says that Wenger needs to stop playing Monreal at centre back or just stop playing him. That's good too. He needs to sell Welbeck and he definitely needs to sell Walcott. Man didn't even touch the ball when he came on. Boom. Poet, take it away. Jacko, I like you. I do think you're an amazing person. You've got a great song. You're even respectful when we met you. But the ability for you to retain the ball is just, it's just non-existent. Mm. You was abysmal against Stoke. It was, it was so poor. And Arsene Wenger, bro, why would you have three at the back, which is for centre-backs and say, do you know what, I'm going to play two left-backs there. And then my right-back, I'm going to play left-wing-back. Mertesacker struggled. Why didn't we see Mertesacker, Mustafi and Holden? I do not understand why I'm seeing Monreal playing left and playing centre back. Wenger, you're just you the mistakes are just fucking ridiculous. And then when Monreal makes a mistake at centre back, I can't get angry at him. He's not even a centre back. And Danny Welbeck again, another guy, but bro, you are just not good enough. Mm. Good, like you're just not good enough. You mm. saw Lacazette. Goal offside, but the turn and finish was bad boy. But Danny fucking Welbeck, cuz. It's bad, you know? It's pretty bad. But you were unlucky. The offside goal, I mean, a great decision. It it's was offside. literally a toe. It was a toe. It was a toe, but great it's decision. It was, it was offside. You we should have had four penalties. Two handballs, and Bellerin was shot twice in the box. So one of the four can be a penalty. One, one of the four. I think one. Just one, at least. The first one was just abysmal. Like, it's such a, fa it's such a penalty. I just don't get it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter because. But shout out Hesse, though. Oh, what? Hesse is a baller. Ertzel was one of our better performers in the day, but Arsenal on a whole. Wenger, just go, man. You've got to. What's that, Wenger, go? He has to, though. Bro, we've got you this weekend, on Sunday. We'll and we're going to play happens. Monreal and... S it just doesn't make sense. That's not... They're not... I hope we batter you, but I don't will. know if we will. Oh, bro, I can... Honestly, Liverpool 5, Arsenal 0. Are you serious? Yeah. I'll take that. Well, Arsenal fans, is it back to your demise again? Is it Wenger in or Wenger out to shake it all about? What has been... <laughs> happening with you lads but it's can i just make sure make sure this makes the edit Ertzel done nothing wrong really on saturday please stop blaming this guy for fucking everything that happens as we go to liverpool against crystal palace uh, ben young all you man very jam a hard call a fan but i think we should sell coutinho to what for game was a perfect example about him we're still attacking threats so i think we should sell him and reinvest the funds on the defensive mid and the quality center back which would improve us all very <gasps> jeremy grant up one crystal palace which your thoughts i like that comment um basically we won which is fucking positive we Very weren't positive. great, which is okay. I need some patience, so I'm going to be patient. I'm going to give it like... You're undefeated this season. You play three games. You drew yeah. the first game Exactly. Three. It's been efficient. Not great efficiency. Like, United's efficiency has been... Oh, I'm impressed. This efficiency has been like something is missing. Mane is definitely our best player. Sadio, I mean, I love him. Our, our Lord, our King, our Saviour. Sadio Mane. I think when Salah came on, we looked absolutely different. I love him. It's just start the boy. Milner and Henderson in midfield. That's just plain white bread. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you go to dinner and they just Did give you... Did you just say plain, plain white, bread. white bread? It was just drab. It was drab, uninspiring. Robertson looks all right at left back. But let's see. You know, I'm going to not pass judgment on them too quickly. I'm still not excited. Like, I think Coutinho coming back, maybe signing some fucking more players. Excitement will be back. Right now, I'm just a bit cautious. I don't want to do the whole Liverpool thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know how that always ends. Arsenal, Liverpool, are we going to battle them? What's the score going to be next Five week? 5-0. Let's go to Harrisfield against Newcastle. And obviously last week, we called that white guy the bold white Don. Uh, we have some comments. And Dominic says, bro, Huddersfield's white bold Don is the Australian baller Aaron Moy. Don't get mistaken. He's going to tear the Premier League apart. And recently, says the bold Huddersfield number 10 is Aaron Moy. The best Australian player running around at the moment. So good, they call him Pasty Perlo. Fam, did you see his goal? Fucking banging. It was a mad team. I had a Bro, do you know how bad it was? Take a bow. Six points already on the board like that. And I was like, nah, I'll get relegated. Fam, I've changed my fucking mind, mate. They went mad. How they played went hard. Mad. They went mad. Newcastle play good football, though. They do play good football, but that's two results that aren't great for them. So lost to Huddersfield, come back from the championship. You're expecting, I think, Newcastle to put up a better fight. Because they might have another one, because Benitez was, was there when they got relegated. Mm. Huddersfield have just beat Crystal Palace 3-0. So they've got, they've got high spirits, they've gone into this game, their first Premier League game ever at Huddersfield. I just thought the way the scene was set, Newcastle were going to lose. What Newcastle need to get is like a Watford or just someone where they, they might be able to give them a little bit of a, a fight and then start building confidence from there. I don't think any Newcastle fans should be 
you know, quite worried as of yet. It's, I mean, you haven't scored this season, which is a bit worrying, but apart from that, <laughs> Mitrovic Watt! He's on the fucking bench. <laughs> Mitrovic Watt is even back. Because when we do Mitrovic Watt, he's just on the bench. So there's nothing happening. Mitrovic is on the bench. But, you know, Huddersfield, will they stay up? Um, will they get worked out as the season goes on? Who else do we look out for? Because obviously Moy's been doing his thing. And even that guy up front that they have, the, the, the French don, like, he's, they just look confident. They're Man's really in look- Barcelona, because they won 2-0. Only Real Betis. Real Betis. Once upon a time, tell you a little story about them. They were responsible for the most expensive player in the world, Denilson. And do you know what he achieved at Betis? Fuck all. Um, But anyway, Barcelona, Tosca, Sergi, 2 0. But Real Madrid. The Real Madrid, though, man, you're such a great quality side. It's just like Sergio Ramos, man, you're 3 0 up, you've won the game, and I've just seen the image of you going to slap someone across the face. I'm like, why are you angry? They beat Man United, they beat Real Madrid, um, Barcelona twice, they won this game. Oh, with ease. Let's put it there. Look, Real Madrid are going to win the league. AC Milan won 3 0 against Crotone. They look like they're back as fuck. I didn't watch this game, man. I'm telling you. Neither did I. You should have, everyone should have watched Napoli Verona. The game was so sick. The Italian League's back. We've been saying that, and it's going to be good to watch. Oh, but Neymar. Fam. We have to do Neymar watch, because you have to scrutinise every game Neymar's in. But so far, he's fucking proven his worth. Fam, I was watching it. 6 2 win. And that goal he scored. They were all down though. But you know what? The defenders. I mean, the defending was a bit poor. Do you know what it is? I don't think it's. I think they're a bit cautious. They just want to bring him down. You don't want to bring a man down in the box. Do you know how agile Neymar is? Very. So it's like. He turned, 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 turned. It's long. Turned, turned, turned. Bang. Neymar is going to rip apart that league. You guys, leave your comments. Is Neymar proving his worth now? Is he going to become a star? Is he going to overshadow Messi eventually or now? European football is Barcelona. Crazy. It is back in it. You know, we weren't really watching it before. Now it's like you want to actually see what the hell is going on. And shout out Barter for Dortmund. Quick it's fire it's transfer it's roundup. Chelsea wants to bite and spend 200 million on drink water. Alex Oxlade, Virgil van Dijk, Cedric Suarez and Ryan Bertrand. That, that, that's not inspiring. But I think those are wise. As the mirror and the paper that shall not be named says that. So you're going to get Sanchez for 70 million. That's because apparently, I think we are two weeks away from Mbappe signing for PSG. Everyone was scared that Sanchez was in PSG, going PSG is in Paris now and all of this. But if they get Mbappe, then I just feel like them getting Sanchez doesn't make any sense. So they have um, Mbappe and Cavani, Neymar, Draxler, Di Maria. There's not, well, where does Sanchez come into the equation really? Unless someone's injured, so, yeah. But then even at Man City, I don't even see where Sanchez comes into the equation. They've got De Bruyne, Aguero, Jesus. Um, Sterling, um, Sane. I don't even know why he's going there. I just don't get it anymore. Let us know what you think, as always, on Thursday. Transfer, transfers, rumours, rumours. We'll be back as you point to the camera and say, What a guy! <laughs> All right, you fucking little no bad. Um, what a guy, Mooch, for looking like my dad that never came out from getting cigarettes from my local Tesco. We can relate. Um, what a guy to my club, um, Vardar Skopje, who beat Fenerbahce tonight in the EL playoffs 2 0. No, real talk. Shout out Vardar because right, look at that DP these results I'm not expecting at all. Shout out Vardar Stoyanov. Uh, Liverpool low knee. Conor Randall kicks a sun report out of his heart press conference. <laughs> have a nice, have a justice. What a guy to Huddersfield's crazy bowler stringer Aaron Moy, who's killing it in the Prem. What a guy to my old brother, giving his new one son the name David Poet Navarrete. Really? No, no, I want to see some proof. I want to see proof. At us on Twitter. I want to see proof. You call your is son true. David Poet Navarrete. What a guy at Hamburg winger Nikolai Muller, who has been ruled out for seven months after rupturing his anterior crucial ligament. Oh, sorry, I saw a goal. I saw that. Did you see yeah, it? Yeah, I saw the oh, picture. The Romanian done. The man was like, then it's Spinner Rooney. He was like, Spinner Rooney! <laughs> and then he got injured. <laughs> got injured yeah, my name is Nikolai Muller from Romania. He hurt his leg. Okay. Um, what a guy to Serbian Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Alright, shut up. What a guy to Asensio. For, I love Asensio. What a name. For scoring an absolute banger against Barca. Asensio is winner. His goal was illegal in about seven countries. It was illegal. Fucking mental. Fam, it's mad. You know who to choose. The guy who kicked out the Donny from the (laughs) team. My brother. My brother. What's his name? Conor Randall. What a guy. Time for two tools as we move on to social media and what's been going crazy this week. David Drew says, um, buzzing for tomorrow. Hotel boat just 11 miles from Pompey and an absolute bargain. For fuck's sake, this fucking hotel is from the Isle of fucking White. I'm now going to check in and get the ferry back. <laughs> 11 miles from Pompey Miles. <laughs> wow, only one Polino shirt has been sold at the Barcelona Mega Store. They gave me this for free. <laughs> <laughs> 
if you see what they're saying about Paulinho, man, you would think they just sold Messi. They are going fucking men. They are so upset about this signing Paulinho. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Big men to be renamed, man. <laughs> Massive bar. <laughs> <laughs> from 2018. I think it should be called um, Perilous Piotr <laughs> or something like that. You should change the name every week. Well, motherfuckers, we have leached, le re leached, reached the end of the show. We do have FIFA and Joe Oli Merz coming. Um, he's going to be participating in the game for Grenfell. Do get your tickets on the second if you do want to go in the West London for QPR ground. Great cause as we leave and go into life again and to the reign of London. What is life?